Hello and welcome to another episode of Live Feed with your host, Richard Santiago. Live Feed is brought to you by Traveling Tech Teacher. For all your digital resources, check out TravelingTechTeacher.com and also brought to you by TheBullyExposed.com, a 501c3 nonprofit organization geared at helping survivors of bullying, so let them help you. Also, you can support us by going to represent.com slash store slash the bully exposed.com we got lots of great new gear up there so get your gear now Sophia Gemma thank you for joining the show today we're going to talk about police brutality I want to know your topics about I mean your idea about it what you think about it in this episode so let's call in the gang get some more people in here call in the gang and start this topic SK's in the house thank you SK for joining us Sophia says hello sir sorry I haven't checked in in a while that's okay Sophie uh, thank you for coming and so uh, Thank you, SK, for sending me that uh, video, even though it was very horrible, uh, to see the newest shooting now. And if you're still a person that, that believes that police brutality is not real, man, you, you, you're living under a rock. Um, SK says, you have the Yankee gear on. Nice. Yeah, I have my Mariano shirt on. I was thinking of you when I put it on. Yeah, I got the Mariano on. Probably one of the best closers ever. So, before we begin the show, I need my Yankee update. Did they play today? Did they win today? What what, what went on? I got two videos that I want to show you guys about uh, police brutality. Um, so, let's begin. Remember, you can smash that heart. Any time to start the Q&A and your question will post up. So let's see. Well, let me see here. Why do I let me? Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Okay. So let's start with, uh, with this one. Uh, is there no sound? What's going on? Oh, great. No sound. Let's try this one. There we go. All right, so there you go. So is, he's a federal law enforcer that continues, Paige, thank you for joining the show, to get pulled over by police officers. And when she got pulled over in this particular time, the officer gave her a hard, very hard time about being uh, a federal officer. I think that if she was a man, and if she was not African-American, I don't think she would have got a ticket. I don't think she would have um, had to deal with that type of abuse. You know, it's all to, you, the thing that gets me about some Americans is how a person can 
fight for this country. A person can be a federal employee or a a, a um, federal employee or some type of um, law enforcement, and people still think that they're not veteran vets, and they're not and they're not worthy of the uniform that they wear. I've seen a uh, Latoya, thank you for joining the show. I've seen a video where a black law enforcement officer came in and uh, to a federal building, and he figured because he was in uniform, he was okay for him to come into the federal building with the gun, with a gun. The guy said, nope, you cannot come in here with the gun. He said, okay, no problem. I'll do all my work. BTV, thank you for joining the show. I'll do everything that I have to do off uh, off duty. But the officer would not let him leave. So he calls police to uh, apprehend this man. And all because he was African American. Apprehend this man. And uh, the police came and they looked at him and they said, he is a sheriff. Why are you calling us when a sheriff has just walked into this building you said there was an on, an armed, an armed man. See, he said there was an armed man in the building. He did not say that the armed man was a, was a sheriff, because that's what he was, was a sheriff in the same county. And they basically came to an emergency with guns drawn and everything for a person that's one of their own. And I was so glad to see that they actually... Um, arrested that that guy that did that that's the way it should be you know i have no problem i really don't I have no problem with anyone calling and saying look there's a gentleman here and he has any he has a weapon and he looks dangerous can you please send police out here and if they come out and the situation's right you know that the, the man looked dangerous and was and was being threatening and they handled the situation fine but when someone turns around and says there's an african-american person here they look very threatening they all these things that they do to build up the situation cops come out and the situation is not what the person said on the phone that person should be uh, arrested just like that gentleman was he was at work I was so glad to see that he was at work he said, why didn't you tell me the guy, the officer said to him, why didn't you tell me that the officer was a sheriff as well? You said there was a man here in a federal building with a gun. You did not say he was a sheriff. Why did you not say that? And I forgot the excuse the person gave. And the guy just turned around and said, turn around, turn around, handcuffed him right there in his place of business. And he was, I believe he was just security. I don't believe he was a federal uh, officer. He was just uh, security, and they fired him. And that's the way it should be. Now, if you think, again, if you're one of those people that think that there's not a misbalance, you know, between people being, uh, African Americans being killed by cops and, and whites being killed by cops or others being killed by cops, check out this video. There is no sound in this video, guys. The officer is backing up, as you can see, okay? And it's because this gentleman, a white gentleman, is threatening her. Doesn't have a weapon in his hand, but he is threatening her. And in, in it, you can see that she's telling him to stay still, stand still, don't come any further. And he's not uh, listening to the officer. And he's coming towards her, not running away from her, coming towards her. Okay, most cops, and see right there, that's very threatening. He acted like he was going to run away, and then he pointed at her. If this had been a male cop, I don't think this guy would have done this. So I think he decided to do this because she was a female. And um, so she's running back, and you can see that she's running back until it, w it appears that she finally shot him. But if this was an African-American man, he would have been shot the minute he started walking towards the the uh, police officer so there is an unbalance there is an unbalance and we are 
we do have someone starting the Q&A. Uh, SK starting the Q&A. He says, MVPs, Jordan, five, LeBron, four, championships, Jordan, six, LeBron, three. Uh, final fours, Jordan, six, LeBron, three. Final titles, Jordan, ten, LeBron, one. Uh, I don't think LeBron has just one title. I think he has a little more than that. Did, 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 you, did your question or your comment get cut off? So there is an imbalance, guys. There is an imbalance. Let's change the subject real quick before we go back to that. Um, a lot of you ask me how, you know, I don't have any money. How can I support thebullyexposed.com? You can support thebullyexposed.com by sharing our posts. If you see one of our posts and you like it, share it. Definitely share it. Okay? Um, you can also do it by liking our posts. Tagging your friend on our post. If you know someone that's being bullied, tag us. Tag one of our inspirational posts. Tag one of our episodes of live feed. Anything you can do. Uh, another way is to comment. It is very important to comment because, especially if it has to do with how you're feeling or how, what you have to, what you're dealing with with your bully. That's very important because when someone else reads it and says. Hey, you know what? I feel the same way. And then that can start a dialogue and that will make that person know, and you as well, know that you're not alone. That there are tons of people going through bullying and you're not alone. And even though you may feel alone, you're not alone. So you can start a dialogue about that. Um, you guys know that I am not too keen on... Um, I am not too happy with people that post with emotions but if you're in a rush if you know you you have a couple of seconds and you're at work or you're about to enter school and you say oh I really like this post but I don't have time to comment yes you can leave an emoji no problem uh, you can post a, a one of our pics and share it um, you're always welcome to take a screenshot of our inspirational posts and use it for your very own we do not get upset about that a lot of you email me and tell me uh, I hope this doesn't make you mad but I I took one of your pictures and and may and put it on my uh, feed as well by all means you're more than welcome to do that uh, shout us out give us a shout out every so often and uh, I know face I don't think Instagram does it but Facebook definitely does it leave a review leave a review um, you can say I know that on Facebook you can you you can say it tells you say something about this uh, page so you leave that review in there uh, do you think uh, Pico or Tully will join I don't know I hit them up earlier let me see if uh, I hit them up early and I told them I was coming on live or what time I should come on live and um, and they were just too they they must have been too busy to get back in touch with me. And Pico did um, did give us the heart he, that he liked the statement. So I don't know. Maybe he'll come on. Maybe he'll have time. Uh, hopefully he will. But so uh, so back to it. Do we definitely have to stop police brutality? This is everybody's concern. This is not just an African American community's concern. This is everybody's concern, and it really is sad that people just think that it's one person's uh, problem. Because um, there's going to be a time where the cops are going to get bold and say, "Well, if we're doing this to African American community, who else can we do this to? Maybe ladies." Maybe Latinos, you know, maybe white men will never be endangered or, uh, you know, have to deal with police brutality in a wide range. I do know uh, friends of mine who have ha who have dealt with police brutality who are Caucasian, so I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. I'm saying in a wide range, and maybe they will never have to deal with that. But um, 
This is everyone's problem, not just one person's problem. SK says, did you see a five-year-old white kid was shot in the head multiple times by a black male? No, send me, send me that. Yeah, we're not saying, I'm definitely not saying, SK, that uh, there's not black-on-white crime. But the majority is white on black crime, uh, like that runner. And that is the majority, and that is the truth. And now that everyone has, is a, is a, I like to say that everyone now is a street journalist. Uh, everyone now is a street journalist, so it's going to be out more. And the people that can't see reality will always say no whites are killed more by blacks then blacks are killed by whites which is just not true um, let's see it was it, it was right in front of a five-year-old sister too wow you know that's a shame uh, and uh, SK says lol the pig uh, yeah it's just everybody should be concerned um, with this that's for sure um, Yes, and once again, I am definitely not saying that only, only, um, you know, that it's only one race kills more than the other. Um, it's, it's, it's all, everyone, everyone had, you know, there's, you know, white on white crime, there's black on black crime, there's Latino on Latino crime, there's probably Asian on Asian crime. We don't hear about that a lot, but sure there is um but we all have to agree that the majority of people that are feeling the uh the racism and still feeling racism for more than 400 years has has been the african american and it's definitely time to start really seeing that and taking it for what it is and starting to make change and start to make change so let's see this looks like it's going to be the sk and rip and Ricket sh richard show i can't even speak today uh is pico a cop yes he is for the japanese uh police department where he lives in to in japan i thought he lived in tokyo but he doesn't live in tokyo I just realized that you guys can hear my um, drinking and my sapping of my mouth too much. Sorry about that. Please excuse me. I wish there was a mute button on this, but there isn't. Um, but, okay, so SK, so it's our show. So what do you want to talk about? What else do you want to talk about? Um, uh, we can talk about, uh, I want to think. Again, my special guest, uh, Marcella Carla, who is a parent coach, and I want to thank her for being on my show today. Hopefully, you guys checked it out. Please make a comment. Always make a comment. What was the best part of the show? Those are comments you could leave. What was the best part of the show? Maybe if you had a question for her, put it in the comments. She might see it and answer it, and if she doesn't see it, I'll definitely reach out to her. And tell her, did you see this question from one of our followers? And don't forget to follow her at High Impact Club. And let's see, another question here. Sometimes you, you press this thing and it just does not. So the Yankees had a rain delay yesterday, but they have a double header today. Yeah, because they missed the, they missed a few games. And with that, oh, excuse me, guys. Yeah, I think they missed a few games. So, what what was your thing that you were saying? You never, um, it didn't, it didn't post all the way up. Uh, it just says LeBron three. And I think you were saying championship games. What else were you saying? Let me know. But there is a, a lot of people that wonder. Who who was the best, um, Jordan or LeBron? You know, to me, with this conversation, I hear it all the time on talk radio. I love, by the way, if you're wondering, SK, I love to listen to Joe and Evan. Uh, 
it's hard for me to listen to them um, now where I live. But when I move to Italy, I think it's going to be a little easier. And I'm going to start getting back into listening to them some more. But I love to listen to Joe and Evan. I'm a big fan of Joe and Evan. If you know, if they have an Instagram page, tell them I gave them a shout out. I love Joe and Evan. Um, so there, there's always that conversation on who is better, Jordan or LeBron, who is better, an older player or a newer player. And I say, you know what? They played at different times. The game has changed. Okay, so they, that's my whole um, concept of it, uh, of the argument between who's better, an old-timer or a new-timer. MJ is the GOAT. Refresh my memory. GOAT stands for something, right? What does GOAT stand for? Refresh my memory. Oh, you changed your... I noticed you changed your number to 42. That's awesome. Is it 42 for... Um, for Jackie Robinson, is that why you changed it? 42 for Jackie Robinson? Or 42 for Mariano Rivera? It really doesn't matter. Um, whenever you put 42, everyone always remembers those two players, I think. Unless, of course, you're not a Yankee fan, then you don't care about the fact that 42 <laughs> is Mariano Rivera. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's what it stands for. The greatest of all time. Thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so uh, so you think MJ is the greatest of all time. Okay. LeBron's still playing. There's still room for him to do some more amazing things. Uh, let's see. So he says he's for Mariano. Okay. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think that uh, either way, when you say 42, you're going to remember Jackie or you're going to remember Mariano or you're going to remember both. Let's see. Okay, let's see. And for NFL, I think Tom Brady is the greatest. Interesting. Okay. So let's see. So who do you think? Who do you think for baseball? You, do you think it's Mariano for baseball? So we got MJ for basketball, Mariano for baseball, and then um, Tom for football. And what's up with Tom? Is he playing? I know he's no longer playing for the Patriots. I, I believe he's no longer pay, playing for the Patriots. Is he playing for a different team now? What's oh, sorry guys. What's going on with him? So, all right, sorry for the dead air. I know, bad host, bad host. No dead air. He went to the Broncos. Okay, he went to the Broncos. Awesome, okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. It'll, we'll prove now, and we'll see. It'll show, was it, um, what's his name? I can't remember the coach's name, who was supposed to go to the Jets, but some crap happened and he didn't go to the Jets um, God what's his name I'll let you give me his name alright <laughs> I can't remember his name right now um, so it would be interesting to find out if it was because of the coach or if it was because of him being good and here's the name I think he's got yep yep Bill Bella cheat. I mean Bella check. Sorry. Um, so it'd be interesting to find out if Brady was good because he was good, or because of Bella check. But you gotta understand. Sometimes, just like chemistry, you know, you 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 put two chemicals together and something amazing happens. And if you take one of those chemicals out, something amazing can happen. Can't happen. Uh, it doesn't mean that Bella check. Or Brady are not are not good, but you know the haters out there. They're gonna be out there saying if neither one of them ever wins anything ever again, you know that they're gonna be out there saying that 
uh, neither one of them was great, which makes no sense. It just means that they were great together. That's all that means. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, people, go, haters gonna hate, right? Haters ain't nothing but a fan with attitude. That's the way I look at it. Uh, my favorite NFL team is the Giants. Oh, interesting. Awesome. I remember a long time ago. I remember this, too. The last game I watched was the Giants versus um, the Eagles. And the Giants lost. It was in um, Meadowlands Stadium. Or Giant Stadium. I don't know what it's called anymore. Uh, that was the last game I watched with my dad uh, before I left New York. Not right before I left New York. Um, I don't know, maybe two years. But that was the last live game I watched. Um, so, what else? Well, let's, we can keep talking about sports. That's all right. So, thank you for joining us. If you're just joining us, it's the Richard... NSK show starting me NSK doesn't get any simpler than that so um, I guess everybody's still asleep or everybody's busy and that happens no problem you know I just hope that they will are going to watch this in the recorded version and they usually do they're real good at that because they always have comments for me afterwards about this this stuff we talked about. All right, let's see. SK's doing good with his question. Let's keep it up. Uh, I always support New York team. Same here. Yeah, same here. So we haven't talked about hockey. What's up with hockey? When I lived in New York, I lived in a town called Brentwood. So I used to go see a lot of Islander games because it was easy to just get on the, uh, what is it, the 495 the Long Island Expressway and shoot over to, I believe, see, um, my memory might be a little messed up, but I believe that the Coliseum was in, I can't remember the town, but it was in Nassau County, so I had to drive from Suffolk County to Nassau County, check out the game, and then go back. I've never watched a game in Madison Square Garden, except for the Knicks. I saw the Knicks take on Blake. What team was Blake on? That's who they were playing, I believe. The team, whatever team Blake was on. Can't remember. Uh, let's see. I watched it before. You watched what before? One of our episodes? The one that you couldn't join? Uh... What's Pico at? Do you mean to say where's Pico at? He could be working. He could be working. Um, he usually is not working at this time, but he could be. Or he just could be having to get up tomorrow super early. So that's why he couldn't be on the show. Um, I don't know about hockey, really. Oh, okay. That's why you haven't mentioned it. Okay. That's interesting. I like hockey, though. I like hockey. Uh, I can remember the last time I watched a hockey game was the playoffs. A buddy of mine was from it was the Las Vegas Golden Knights playing the um, Washington Capitals in the Stanley for the Stanley Cup and we watched every game at his house. So that's what we did. Uh, let's see. Here goes a question. Okay, do you think we should defund the police well you know people before I answer that question people are um, are taking this defunding as taking money away from the police and that's not what it means defunding I mean, it's like uh, before I, I give the ex uh, definition of defunding it's like when people say Obamacare it's not Obamacare. And any, anytime anyone uses that, it really shows how ignorant they are about the situation. It's 
the Affordable Care Act. It's just some people choose to call it that, so some people would say, oh, it has Obama's name on it? No, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, support that. But it's called the Affordable Care Act, and it is time, it is time that we really start to have a situation in this country where anyone who wants to go to school can go to school for free. Anyone who needs health care can get, can get health care. It's time for us to do that. Other countries have done it, and it has worked. So defunding the police means that they're going to take some of the funds that they normally put in for police and retrain them or, um, or put those funds into another program that can help because police don't know how to deal with uh, well, at least the police that I've been seeing because my cousin, I have two cousins that are, are cops and they in New York City and they are great. I talk to them all the time and they're great. They know what they're doing and there are a lot of, I have a lot of friends too and they're, they know what they're doing. But it's just, it's time for us to start really working on getting those, those cops out that don't like women, okay? I know cops that have beat women, white or black, beat them up um, because they they screamed at them or yelled at them or called them a name. That is not no reason to beat up somebody. Just like when I was a United States Postal Service carrier, people would call us names all the time because the Postal Service really, in honesty, does not care about you guys. Uh, they do not. And because of that, there's a lot of people that are very fed up with the Postal Service. And a lot of the times, they, the first person they see, they come in contact with, maybe their mailman, and they abuse them. And even though I've been abused, even though I've been threatened, uh, that doesn't mean that I can just go and start beating people up or that I can start holding somebody's mail because they said something to me. Now, for those people that, s that had threatened me I, while I was on the line, um, I would put it in with my supervisor and then they would hold their mail and, and the police would come out to their uh, residence and let them know that you can lose your privilege of the mail if you continue to threaten the mailman. Uh, so that has had to happen, but it doesn't give me the right to 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 harass a person because they they have harassed me, and I think that's the mentality of some cops. What if you you dare talk back to me? We are allowed to talk back to cops. We are allowed to film cops. That's another thing that cops say. You're not allowed to film me. You're not allowed to film me. Uh, no, we, you are allowed to film a servant in his line of work, whether he be mailman or otherwise. Let's see, SK says, my granddad worked for the U.S. Postal Service, and he said similar things that you do. Yeah, the, the Postal Service is extremely, extremely abusive, and I hope that once we really get uh, this show or our nonprofit really on a roll, I am going to reach out to whatever president, uh, Republican or whatever, and start to get them to look, really look into that. Because just like the police department, we're going to end up with carriers that don't care. Because the good ones that do care are being bullied like I was and, and, and harassed out of their jobs. And even fired for no good reason out of their jobs. So, yeah. I'm glad to hear that your gra uh, that your grandfather is one of the ones that said that it wasn't similar because there are a lot of postal workers that see if you're liked in the postal service the union will protect you if you're not liked then the union will not protect you and um so i'm glad to see that your granddad was one of the people that didn't like him because chances are that means he was a a good person and he did not want to play the games and the political games in the, in the union and in the postal service. Let's see. Uh, SK says, this is SK's uh, 
opinion, not mine. I don't like Trump that much. I'm more for Bernie Sanders supporters. Okay. Awesome. Well, that's cool. So, yeah, it's it's very abusive, and I hope that, um, you know, pretty soon to really put shine some light on how abusive they are, the Postal Service, and they truly are. It's not just something that's made up, and it's easily proved, proven, proven, as I use proven. I don't know how to speak today, guys, but... Uh, yeah, we, it's really time to stop police brutality, that's for sure. And it should be everyone's concern. It's it's not a joke. It should be everyone's concern. You know, a lot of countries, the police are running on the scene with Dean. Thank you for joining the show. How are you doing today? Uh, my, grand, my grandmother worked for the U.S. Postal Service, too. Oh, wow. The, was your dad a letter carrier, by the way, or... Was he a, a postal worker that worked inside? Okay, your granddad was a mailman, okay. Oh, but she worked inside the buildings. Okay, that's usually how it is. Um, uh, with, wife, with wife and husband teams, one works inside, one works outside. Sometimes they both work outside. Um, great, okay, so they were carriers then. You know, then your dad can remember... Ask your grand, uh, ask your granddad about a guy named. Um, uh, I'm s I'm sorry, I had I had the name and then all of a sudden it just escaped. Let's see, give me a second and I will look that up for you. Um, the guy, but he was a. I'll tell you about him. He was a union president, or or. Vice president, I think he was, and he um, maybe he wasn't a vice president, but um, they were the the current union presidents were um, what were they doing? They were they were stealing basically stealing money from the from the uh, from the dues members, and he reported them, and they. They basically, like, removed him from his position. And his name was David Noble. David Noble. And they just removed him. And what they were doing was they were taking, uh, and I'm sure they still do it today, they were taking dues, uh, you know, they were taking the dues, the money that they did for dues, and they were using them for personal uh, gain. And that's embezzlement. You can, you know, you can get in a lot of trouble. And this is a, a very important union uh, and they're doing that and what ended up happening is nothing to them and then he he filed and what ended up happening is that 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 thing is still going on today 20 years ago he did that 20 years ago he, he filed uh, for wrongful termination and uh, 20 years he's still dealing with that case so they know how to bury something so that you never get your day in court. And that's a shame. And that that should definitely stop. Let's see. SK says, but it was during when there was a shortage on gas when Clinton was president. So my granddad had to walk a lot of his route. I don't remember there being a shortage on, on gas when Clinton. I remember when... Uh, what's his name? You're probably too young to remember this president. When Carter, when Carter was president, there was a shortage on gas. I remember the long lines. Being a kid, and my dad was wait would wait for gas on these long lines. I don't remember one with Clinton, but it, hey, it could be true. I don't know. Um, it could be true. Uh, oh yeah, it was Carter. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, especially if you're saying your grand, your your grandfather, uh, your grandfather probably hasn't worked as a carrier in a long time. But I wonder if he remembers Dave Noble. Yeah, ask your dad if he remembers Dave Noble and the, if he remembers that time when the union 
um, I'll even, you know what, I'll send you a commercial too that you can show. I mean, not a commercial, a news piece of what you could, you could show your dad about about the the whole thing. I think it was 2020. They did a they did a news piece on on the whole thing. Uh, so let's see. Uh, but both of my grandparents are still alive, so I still I still ask them questions about it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, you. Your grandparents were probably very, very good people and did not want to play the game. Because if you want to play the games, then the then the supervisors leave you alone. They just leave you alone. If you if you have someone high in the union or in the or like there are some guys that their parents are postal uh, postmasters in other cities, and they can do pretty much whatever they want. There was this guy whose father was a postmaster in another city and he got into two accidents with his postal vehicle during his probation period that's instant termination that's automatic termination but he was never terminated um, he probably wasn't even reprimanded and that's why he ended up getting into an another accident before his uh, promotional period or not promotional um, uh, not promotional. Uh, I forget what it's called. And it's too late at night to think about it. You know what I mean. Um, but yeah. And again, I'm going to tell you guys, again, if you um, want to support the Bully Exposed and you don't have the money to, there's ways to do it by sharing their posts, liking their posts, tagging a friend to their inspirational posts, commenting something nice or a question and get uh, some conversation going uh, I'm not a fan you guys know I'm not a fan of um, commenting with an emoji but if that's all you have time to do fine comment with an emoji you can take our photos and you can screenshot them our inspirational posts and use them and put them on your on your own posts whether on Facebook or whatever just be sure to tag us we'd love to see them um, so uh, shout um, post a pic especially if you did happen to buy a shirt if you did happen to buy one of our shirts post a pic and uh, tag us on it uh, shout us out and uh, leave a review on Facebook I don't know if Instagram does it but you can leave a review we are stronger charity. Thank you for joining the show. And where are you from? We got about five more minutes, guys, to get your questions in. Where are you from? We are stronger charity. Um, but uh, let me let me give a shout out to Tully. Here's some fan art by Tully. Um, so, you know, we, we, we like it all. The fan art, anything, anything, any way you guys want to interact with us, we love it. But we really got to do those things that I said on the bottom because it really helps us out, like I said. Uh, let me see. But I am only 17, so when there was a shortage on gas, I wasn't alive. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think you were. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty young. Uh, I got a daughter that's 26, and I don't think she was even alive for that. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's ways that you can help us. It really helps us out a lot, guys, when you do that. So please, please, please uh, don't forget to comment, share, like, post our pics, tag a friend. If you buy a shirt or if you do some fan art, put it on your t and and tag us so that we can share it as well. Uh, oh, awesome. Thank you. SK says he might make some fan art. Yes, please. We would love to share it, see it, and we always put it on our post, guys. So if you think, oh, well, you know, I'm going to do some fan art and take some time to do fan art and no one's going to see it, no, we will post it in our feed. That's for sure. It might take a while to get up there, but we'll get it up there. 
uh, and the more followers we get the the more uh, things are they don't, I wouldn't say behind schedule but the longer it's going to take for us to get it up there but we will eventually get it up there don't worry it will not be for nothing so oh yes thank you for reminding me SK says so did your dogs leave yeah we I made this for them <laughs> I made this little thing for them the Italy or bust uh, yes they finally left um, about 8 o'clock today Eastern uh, Australian Eastern time zone they got on a plane hopefully everything will be good I, I don't imagine anything would be bad I'm just my main concern but again I'm not gonna let it cause me an anxiety right we're not gonna get to anxiety level but my main concern is that we end up staying on this island for like a month and then we have to actually pay these people to board them the dogs for a month when they could have been staying with us for free but that's l that's what happens when you love to travel and you have animals <laughs> so hopefully um, we won't be here that much longer you know and this it's, it's really a shame because this island's beautiful we haven't really done got a chance to do a lot of things on the island um, but now we can't do it because uh, we're on lockdown our military base is on lockdown uh, so you know we can't go and see any sites right now so that's really that really sucks um, let's see SK also says uh, do you think they'll be okay yeah I think they're a lot older um, they're a lot older so that does concern me um, but I think they'll be okay I think that they'll be okay we you know our dogs are not weak we 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 not we haven't done it in a while but we go walking every so often and we take them with us so they are in some type of shape they're not in, in any in any bad shape they aren't in a good shape but they aren't in any bad shape either so it should be very interesting um, so I think it's gonna take five days for them to get to Italy because as I said on the first show uh, because it's the government of the United States they have to touch down in on American soil before they can go off off seas even though this is American soil too because this is a territory of the United States but they still have to touch down in the continental US before they can go on anywhere else and I think that's really a lot of BS because it takes more money to go east over the United States to Italy than to just go west and cross over Asia to get to Europe but those are the rules and I hope that they change that because that is a big way of wasting money that's the way I look at it so that's gonna do it for us thank you for joining me on the what the show that used to be called live feed with your host Richard Santiago and now it's called the show with SK and Richard so thank you SK for joining me I do appreciate it everyone else must be sleeping or um, working and uh, I'm gonna assume Tully is working because he has not replied to me at all and that usually means he's working so we'll do it again tomorrow we'll be here we'll be here nice bright and early tomorrow uh, and we'll find something to talk about and it'll be good so live feed is brought to you by traveling tech teacher for all your digital resources check out traveling tech also brought to you by the bully exposed.com a 501c3 nonprofit organization I want to remind you that if you can support us by going to represent.com forward slash store forward slash the bully exposed.com we got tons of shirts up there we're putting more t-shirts up there we got a, a t-shirt uh, you can support the kids that are in um, that are in uh, I'll, I'll 
going to start helping kids that are in uh, bases. So we, you can support them by buying the shirt that we had there. All 100% of the proceeds always go to the bullyexposed.com. So remember, anyone can wear the crown. Anyone can be a hero. So be kind to one another, guys, and have a great day. Bye, SK.